Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, I want to discuss something which is really interesting and really important happening in the node landscape as we speak. And that is the inclusion of fetch within the native node library or the native features which node ships with. If you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. This is free of cost and helps the channel grow. So this pull request over here and this tweet over here confirms that it is very likely that in Node.js version 18, which is the next version of Node and even numbers are LTS versions as well. So version 18 will introduce the support for a native fetch finally in Node.js. For the longest time ever, Node did not include support for fetch, which is a very, very common API on the web, very common for performing HTTP requests, for performing any sort of network request, and Node did not support it by default. So if you wanted to perform an HTTP request, either you had to use third-party packages or you would have to construct the request on your own from scratch. Now, this is actually great news for the whole ecosystem because JavaScript is used on a lot of places. It's used on the web, it's used in Node.js, it's used in Cloudflare workers, for example. Now, Cloudflare workers at the moment ship with their own custom implementation of fetch. For Node, you have to install certain packages. For web, there's a version. So there's a lot of inconsistency along the way. Now, Node bringing an official support for this means that any other environment which is running JavaScript on servers, it's most likely running Node if it's not running Dino, then it'll automatically support fetch and because this is the actual team, actual Node.js team doing this, this would be spec compliant. That means which should ideally work exactly the way it works inside browser. So there should be no fundamental difference in the way the request is performed in a Node.js environment. So if you go through this issue, you're going to see that Node actually used or mostly ported a library known as Undesi. I don't know how to pronounce that as Yundesi, Undesi. But what this library is, it's again, it's officially built by the Node team itself. But this is like an HTTP 1.1 fully blown client written from scratch in Node.js. All right, so if you scroll down on this page a bit, you're going to see the section which says the fetch request area and it says that this is still experimental and it's not yet fully compliant with the fetch standard so this is important because until and unless this implementation which pretty much is being used as an official implementation in node also until and unless this becomes compliant with the fetch standard node would not be you know just releasing fetch without an experimental flag and until that happens node 18 would probably not be out. So this is one place which needs a little bit of work. And if you take a look at some unsupported features, you can basically find a lot of stuff. They have documented everything which is not supported yet. You're gonna see that this area which says specific compliance, all these things, garbage collection and upgrade, th this stuff is not, I think this garbage collection is not supported, that's it. And of course, if you take a look at the PR, the author also says that tests are not written for the fetch area at least not right now so that is also something they're looking forward for but i think this is a very exciting news in general because node bringing fetch within its official its core api means that node.js developers are finally realizing the importance and the need of having a lot of core features and web compliance with the node runtime itself as well now you would have also seen the other video which i released the other day which was node.js introducing a new way to import node modules it is using the node protocol or the node namespace whatever you want to say that so those two three things combined means that maybe in near future maybe in the next few years we would have it's, it's likely that we would have a proper standard library for node as well which should ideally replace a lot of commonly used npm packages which might be unoptimized which might have breaking changes immediately and so on for example one of the biggest breaking change which pretty much broke even some of our builds as well was that when this package node fetch in version 3 shifted to just supporting esm just dropping common js imports and that was like disastrous if you were not version locking your systems so that's that sort of thing hopefully does not happen with this sort of implementation so yeah i mean but Nonetheless, including fetch in Node.js is definitely something which at least I was looking forward for for a very long time. And finally, I could just drop Node fetch 
as the dependency requirement from node 18 onwards hopefully this gets shipped by node 18 but we'll just see we'll have to wait that out and see how it goes so yep that's pretty much it for this video hopefully you like this if you did make sure you leave a like subscribe and let me know in the comments what you think about this new addition to node.js that is all for this one i'm gonna see you in the next video really soon if you're still watching this video make sure you comment down in the comment section i watched this video till the end also if you're not part of code dumps discord community you are missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code you already know the drill make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching